How many times will you put this department and my ass on the line? Well, with all due respect, I don't think this time was that bad. <laughs> you kicked an old Italian lady's door down! Uh, in our defense, we thought she was selling weed. It was oregano! I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I gave you guys way too much freedom. Hey, no, 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 no Quiet! Now listen closely, because I'm only gonna say this once. You both have files on your desk that need to be solved. Find a lead on at least one of them by the end of the day, or you're both fired. Understand? Good. Now get out of this office and do your jobs. You gonna eat that? Get out! Embarrassing. Where are you going? You heard the chief. I need a coffee. Are you gonna take this seriously? You wanna get fired? We are not gonna get fired. And this is why. I wish that we make the most arrests of the entire department. Stop messing around. Maybe for once in our lives we can do things right. Well, you can do what you want, but I need a coffee before I do anything. My head is just pounding from getting yelled at. Clay and Derek closed the car doors. Uh, did, did you just say something? No. Did you? No. Clay and Derek put their seatbelts on. Okay, seriously, what the fuck is going on? I don't know, it isn't me. Clay and Derek freak out like little girls. Hey, screw you, man. Yeah, who are you and what do you want? Clay starts the car and drives to 32 Judson Street. Uh, yeah, no thank you. Clay starts the car and drives to 32 Judson Street. Dude, I think we should just go there. Are you crazy? Clay starts the car and drives to 32 Judson Street. Okay, I think the voice is just going to keep repeating till we go there. <laughs> Fine. Clay puts on Kids Bop. Uh, yeah, no way that's happening. The hell? I don't even own a Kids Bop CD. Well, this is the place. Now what? Clay and Derek head to the backyard. Let's just go. Let's be ready for anything. No way! Put your hands behind your head. You got it? Yep. Hey, hey, Chief. Chief. Wipe those damn smiles off your faces. Congratulations on finally doing your damn jobs. How about you wrap up the other hundred cases on your desk? Your asses are still on the line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Clay and Derek run to their cars and go to the park. <laughs> Where are you going? You heard the voice. Let's go. We haven't done Chief's assignments yet. Who cares about that? You saw what this voice can do. If we keep bringing in criminals, the Chief won't care if they're from assigned cases. Come on! So what now, magical voice? It's completely empty. Quiet. Just have to have a little patience. Clay and Derek get out of the car and walk through the field. Two people appear as Clay and Derek quickly turn around. Freeze! Where did they come from? Drop the rock and get down on your knees. I, I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, sure you don't. Looks pretty obvious to me. Told you. Just gotta trust the voice. <laughs> Does nothing about this seem wrong to you? No way. This is the best thing that ever happened to us. What the hell just happened? What? Were we just jumping through time or something? <sighs> I don't know what's going on with you, but it's not funny. <sighs> you know, I really hate to say it, but you two really stepped it up this week. I would have never have thought you guys would solve more murders in a week than the entire department did in a year. Keep it up. A week? Something's not right. What are you doing? I don't think these people are murderers. What do you mean, we saw them murder people? I know. But none of these people had criminal records. They had no history of violence. Nothing. That doesn't prove anything. The voice led us right to these people as they were committing murder. That's my point. What if the voice is controlling them to commit murder? Think about it. Every scene we were at, the suspect was shaking in fear and had no idea what had happened. So what? Well, there's nothing we could do about it. You know, people will think we're crazy. I say we just enjoy the recognition. Where's the penny? I need to wish the voice away. No way. That voice is the only reason we still have a job. I wish- Derek puts down the penny. Derek strangles Clay. It, it, it's okay, I believe you. Just snap out of it. Oh. Jeez, sorry, buddy. I wish the voice would go away. So at this point, we're gonna have Clay bust into the writer's room. Where am I? What the hell is going on? Did you hire an actor for the pitch? No.
that's impossible. Listen to me, Clay. You know my name. How come everything on that board just happened to me? Look, you're in our writer's room. I... My writer's room? It was you all along. You tried to make my best friend kill me! Oh, I'm back. Oh, jeez. Hey. What happened? I got rid of the voice. What? I thought you wanted to keep the voice. It's just like you said. It's about time we grew up. I'm happy it's gone, but... Now we don't have an easy way out. We still got all the glory, <laughs> which will last us a while. Yeah. Think again. You guys didn't follow protocol and left bodies all over the city. You two are being demoted to meter maids. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I... Get out of this office right now. And he was the greatest chief to ever live. Did you do this? No, that wasn't me. The writers thought they were real people. Little did they know, they were just a drop of ink on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs>